Light Me. Yeah, breakfast. With the yogurt, I'm having two more rolls with hummus with sun dried tomatoes. Uh, for me, it's always important to eat a lot so I don't get hungry because when I get hungry, I make the wrong choices. Um, it's okay to have bread because if I, if I just don't eat it every day, it's fine. But if I eat it too much, like I will get uh, belly aches. But it, like once in a while, it's perfectly fine. And I guess my body actually really likes it. I saw that during the yoga teacher training. Happy New Year, Nish! New year. Hello, how was Thailand? <laughs> uh, <awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be back here. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. With nice. sunshine absolutely every single day. 30 oh. degrees. Oh my gosh. Crystal clear skies. Awesome. Nish went to Krabi during the new year, so yes. that's awesome. And he's um, gonna tell me all nice. about it. Um, half half touristy, half wild land. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> You feel comfortable and adventurous at the same time. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna tell me all about it now. Let all the dirty the stories behind the scenes. What? <laughs> You're gonna tell me all the dirty stories behind the scenes now. <laughs> That's <the> camera. <laughs> Seriously, the easiest clean food ever: soup and the most delicious one, pumpkin soup. Mmm, pumpkin soup. I also added some of the Turkish yogurt. I really, really like it and. It's a good protein to add to your soup, so uh, you could use yogurt, but you can also use like cream or stuff like that, or maybe an egg or something. Always add protein because otherwise the soup is nah, it can sometimes leave you like craving for more. Oh, also beans are a very good option for adding protein. Yeah, I'm going to eat the soup. Does it taste good? Bit watery. Mm, too bad. Are you excited to see the rest of the light festival? Okay. Okay. Look, I can't see you. Just in case. This is not the most convenient day for this walk. Why? Why? Oh, it, it's raining. It's raining. It's windy. It sucks. But this does look cool. So this is the one we saw yesterday from the Skyward, which is over there. Amsterdam Central Station, still in festive lights, awesome. And we're actually thinking of skipping the route and just going somewhere for a tea and a hot chocolate. I would like to see the Christmas decorations still. Hmm, what to do, what to do? Rook, rook, the cute Christmas decorations where we drove by yesterday. Ooh, I love it, I really want to see them. Do buy these fries. Sam Square looks so pretty. Look at this. Oh, it's raining again. Yeah, yeah, but it's so pretty. Look at the Christmas tree. It's huge. Look at that. I'll just zoom in. That's amazing. This is a palace in case you've never seen it before. Oh man, and the bag wharf. Hello. Whoa, look. Bagcore. Looks amazing. Haven't seen it yet. It's really cool. We got it in the tram again because the weather is just really not ideal for walking around for two hours or something like that. So we're just going to have a tea and I'm guessing Stefan will have a hot chocolate, right? Yes, I think yes. This is it, Café Brecht at Beteringschans. So this is also a big roundabout, a bit famous. And Café Brecht is one of the cutest little tea slash cafes where you can sit. Yeah, so it's like your grandmother's living room. It's amazing. They have all these sofas and very, very comfy chairs. They have a piano over here. Games, board games you can play. Yeah, I really love this place. It's so cute. And also one of the great things, they have very different exotic tea varieties. You don't see that that often. Oh, I love this one. Dream Nuts. Sweet mix based on caramelized almond, cinnamon, apple. This one's really good. But I think I'm going to go for the green mountain. Mountain tea, the Greek mountain tea actually, because I've never tried it. And it sounds like, you know, I'm a sucker for smooth and very pure, so let's try this. By the way, I never looked, but they also have cocktails and for very affordable prices in Amsterdam. I've heard this one's really good, Pimps. I need to try that one one day, but 
um, yeah, if you want to have cocktails in Amsterdam, I would recommend this place as well. Greek mountain tea for me, hot chocolate for Stefan. And we're playing the game Ludo, which originates from India. I did not know that. I love this game and I already kicked Stefan off three times. I'm kicking butt. I just kicked off Stefan again. And I was like, do you really want to hurt me? Yeah. And he's like... Yeah, I want to annihilate He wants to annihilate me. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. This is the first time he gets to throw me off. <laughs> this is how mad he is. He just threw a six, which means he can get one out again. And he chose to walk with this one because he wants to throw me off here. Wow. Somebody's somebody's mad. And this is why karma is a bitch if you're a bitch. Bam. Three. <laughs> one, two, boom. It's a two. It's a two. Bam. Let's take this baby home. One, two. I I win, I win, I win, I win, I win. I honestly don't mind losing, but he's so grumpy right now. <laughs> Sad face. Oh my gosh, look at this neck and neck race. So Stefan needed a four to get in, and I needed a five. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this neck and neck race and he threw me out like three times and I said to him like it's not about How many times you get beat down? It's about how many times you get up BAM One two three four five ding 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 we have a winner So happy we decided not to walk outside because it's raining really bad This was really nice Home again and I've removed all of my makeup as you can see. Thank you so 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 much for all your advice regarding to my dry skin. I was very happy with your recommendations. Currently I am using uh, Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion and I plan on looking into more uh, moisturizers and just testing them because the climate is always cold in the Netherlands. I'm guessing it will be cold probably until, well, into April, uh, I guess. So uh, the heating will stay on and I have plenty of time to try different moisturizers. Also, something I want to discuss with you, but let's go into the bedroom uh, because it's quite personal. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, I wanted to discuss travel plans with you for 2016. To be very fair, I was planning on leaving again in February, from February until April uh, to India because I definitely want to go back in 2016. But I was meditating one day and my gut told me like, don't go, stay here. And I was like, okay, I'll just follow you, I will follow you. But um, yeah, and it turns out to be a really great decision. Uh, something really really awesome is happening something which is very important to me it's seriously very personal but I do want to share with you when things uh, get rounded up because it's something like it it was something I definitely believed in but everybody seriously everybody told me this is not gonna work this is not gonna happen you're expecting way too much of this and it looks like it's happening so I will tell you that because I think it's a it's an inspirational for me to see that if you believe in something, it happens and I think it might help some of you uh, with maybe your, um, yeah, maybe your dreams you want to achieve in 2016. But regarding to travel plans, I am going to the Vacantiebeurs, which is basically the vacation fair. Uh, I'm going to two vlogger slash blogger events. I'm just going to check which companies are open for uh, yeah for a collaboration uh where do you guys want to go like for me it would be very cool to see more of europe i loved our little trip to paris it was so much fun uh taking you guys with me it's definitely different when you when i'm taking you with me like normally i would just go with stefan or a friend or something and of course it's really fun but 
with you guys it's it's different I love having you around and I would like to see more of Europe I would definitely like to go back to Rome I love Italy I would like to go to Sicily again um, to maybe to Sardinia maybe we can go to Barcelona I would like to visit Claudia in Norway um, maybe London maybe Berlin I don't know what are your favorite European cities or where else would you like us to go um, yeah I haven't made the travel plans yet uh, obviously Indonesia is also on my list I would love to go to Indonesia but who knows what 2016 will be I'm open to all opportunities that cross our ways yes our ways we are in this together my if squad um, yeah let me know in the comments below where would you like to go oh my god that was such a rap rhyme well, let me know in the comments below where you would like to go in 2016 uh, uh. and that's the end of this day's vlog this week's vlog thank you so much for watching put a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe i see like 30 percent of my traffic to my channel is non-subscribed people please subscribe if you like these vlogs so you get like an auto update and i've been chatting way too long see you on wednesdays my dear love you yeah the food holla look at this Ooh, veggie food yes come to mama i'm hungry as well oh my gosh all the turkish cookies snacks thingies